Good afternoon, everyone. If I could have your attention. Good afternoon. I'm Marianne Legler, and I'm the chair of the Healthy Teens Coalition of Manatee County. And this is our second annual Healthy Teens Coalition Teen Pregnancy Prevention Awards reception. And look how we've grown. Last year, we were in a small room at Sonovus Bank. And this year, we had to come and see Renaissance on 9th. So thank you all so much for coming. It's wonderful to have everyone here. Um, this month is Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month, and that's the reason that we are celebrating all of this. We, for the most part, this program is going to be about the, the kids, the teens. And we have a great group of teens for you to meet. They are the ones that are going to run the program. And they're sitting over here kind of looking at me like, ooh. But they'll do a fantastic job. Um, so we have teen health educators here, which is a new program this year. We have our Healthy Teens Coalition teen parent intern. And we also have um, representatives from the Manatee County Youth Commission. So we have a little tradition that we started in our teen health educators, and I'm looking at a certain teen health educator. When we uh, started this program this year, it was a very intensive application process, including that each one of the teen health educators had to teach us something. And so uh, they were so creative and interesting. So you all are going to learn something that we learned, the interview panel learned. So without further ado, I present one of our teen health educators, Willie Simmons, who's going to come forward and get us warmed up. All right then, everyone. Hello. Okay, so um, when uh, I was asked to teach them something, I decided to teach them how to dance. So today, you all will be learning how to dance. Um, it's a dance called the, the Dougie, if you've ever heard of it. So, uh, if I can have everyone stand up. definitely have some dancers in here I can tell all right then um so as everyone may likely know May is teen pregnancy prevention month and this awards reception is in celebration of that along with all of the community representatives that have worked so hard to make a difference in teen pregnancy prevention so we like to start off by having our healthy teens um healthy teen health Healthy Teen Educators, our teen parent interns, and our Manatee Co. Youth Commission Chair introduce each other and also share some important facts about the issues of teen pregnancy. So I'd like to first bring up Sophia to the table. Hello, good afternoon. Um, my name is Sofia Gallegos. Um, I'm a sophomore at Bayshore High School. And 
Today, I want to tell you guys about something that, um, something I like. Oh, <laughs> um, I like to dance, and it's very something really special to me, and I've been doing it for a long time, and I still continue to do it, and it's very, I enjoy it, and I do it every day. So, yeah, I love dancing. And yeah, and now I'd like to introduce Walter. Hello, I'm Walter Preston. I go to Manatee High School. I'm 17 years old, and I'm in the 10th grade, or sophomore. Um, something I do a lot is I play, I play soccer out at... Uh, out Lakewood Ranch Chargers. I don't know if you've heard of them, but it's a pretty big part of my life. So, thank you. And I would like to introduce Cheyenne. Come to see. I'm Cheyenne Doberl. I'm a freshman at Southeast High School. I'm 15 years old. And one thing that I enjoy a lot is playing volleyball at Manatee Area Volleyball. And I would like to introduce one of my closest friends in this program, Susan. Hello, I'm Susan. Um, I'm 18 years old, and I'm a senior at Bayshore High School. Um, something I love to do is um, help the community a lot. Um, I'm doing something big right now, and I would love to help others in the community, too. Um, somebody I would like to invite up is Ashley. Hello, my name is Ashley. I go to Braden River High School. I'm in ninth grade. Um, something that I like to do is I like to play um, piano and the clarinet. I love music. It's a big part of my life. I'd like to introduce Markel. Hello, my name is Markel Simmons. I am in 12th grade. I'm 18 years old, and I guess I'm about to graduate. My last day is tomorrow. <laughs> All, right. Um. All right. I like being awesome. <laughs> and we'd like to also bring up Ella. Hi, my name is Ella Biggins. I am a junior at Braden River High School, and something I enjoy to do is cheerleading. And so should I bring up Paige? Yes, please. Okay, and Paige, would you come up? <laughs> Hi, my name is Paige, and I'm the HTC um, teen parent intern, and something that I like to do is to mentor teen parents, and I'm pursuing my um, career in social work to do so. The Manatee County Youth Commission's Teen Pregnancy Prevention Committee wanted to do a PSA for this year's Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month. We felt strongly that a professional service announcement that would play for school announcements and on local TV channels would be a great way to educate teens and our community in general about the issue of teen pregnancy. So I presented the issue to Ms. Legler and she thought it was great. So we all met, came up with ideas, and then I volunteered to write the script for the PSA. And under the t very capable, t talented videography and direction of Mr. Charles Clapsaddle, we recorded the PSA. And we would like to show the video to you now.
Teen pregnancy is something that everyone has heard of and has even been covered by the media on many fronts, including shows like Degrassi, The Secret Life of the American Teenager, and the ever so popular reality show, 16 and Pregnant, along with its spinoff of Teen Mom. But not many people understand the facts behind teen pregnancy and the toll it takes on the teen parents and their children and the rest of our society. It is important that as a community, we work together to combat high teen pregnancy rates in Manatee County. Here is why it matters. 10% of the babies born in the U.S. annually are to teen moms, making the U.S. teen birth rate the highest of all countries in the Western industrialized world. That's the U.S. as a whole, but if you bring the facts to a more local level, the facts are even more shocking. Florida was ranked 25 out of the nation in 2012, teen birth rates among females aged 15 to 19. Wow, so that means that we already live in a state where the teen pregnancy rate is in the top half of all states for teen births. That makes what I'm about to say sound even more frightening. Because did you know that Manatee County has the 13th highest teen birth rate in Florida and is ranked seventh in the state for repeat teen pregnancies? I know, that's insane. In 2012, there were 390 births to teens in Manatee County. 385 of them were to girls between the ages of 15 and 19, while five of them were to girls aged 14 or under. Of the girls 15 to 19 who already had children, there were 70 repeat births. Amongst the girls aged 14 and younger, there was one repeat birth. Yes, and this is happening for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons the United States has such a high teen pregnancy rate is because many teens fail to use contraceptives. A sexually active teen that does not use contraceptives has a 90% chance of becoming pregnant within one year. So now that you have the facts on how there are a large percentage of teens becoming parents, you may be asking yourself, why does that matter? This is why it matters. Let's look at educational accomplishments first. Children of teen mothers are more likely to have lower school achievement and higher dropout rates. Only about 38% of teen mothers receive a high school diploma, and over one-third of Manatee County teen parents fail to complete their high school education following the birth of a child. So true, and in regards to health of the babies born, infant deaths are 50% higher in babies born to teen mothers. Babies born to teen mothers are more likely to have lower birth weights and more health problems. In addition, having a baby as a teenager affects the lifestyle choices of the babies later on in life. For instance, Daughters of teen mothers are three times more likely to become teen mothers. Not even just that, but the sons of young teen mothers are more than twice as likely to spend time in prison as are the sons of mothers who delay childbearing until their early 20s. And if those are not enough shocking facts to help you understand why it matters that we prevent teen pregnancy, we haven't even touched on the cost. The vicious cycle of lifelong poverty and repeat teen pregnancy costs Manatee County taxpayers over $11.1 million annually. GED prep and testing only costs about $400 per student. That's a huge cost savings if a GED gives teen parents a high school diploma. We all know that someone who graduates from high school is much more likely to achieve financial independence than someone who never graduates from high school. Teen pregnancy, it's something we all have heard of and now something you know a lot more about. Hopefully, now that you know more about this epidemic, you will join in the battle to help reduce teen pregnancy. It takes all of us working together. And the good news is you are not alone in the fight to prevent teen pregnancies in Manatee County. There are many organizations, including the school board's It's Your Choice program and the Healthy Teens Coalition of Manatee County, who are helping to prevent births to teens and have successfully reduced the numbers by over 38% since they have started programs like It's Your Choice and Healthy Teens Coalition. In fact, live births to the teen mothers ages 14 and under has dropped by over 74%, which is incredible. With continued effort by organizations such as It's Your Choice, the Healthy Teens Coalition, as well as teachers, parents, community members, and teens like you, 
we can continue to reduce the number of teen pregnancies in Manatee County by an even greater percentage, which will have a positive effect on the community for years to come. This is why it matters. That was very informational. That was really good. I, I learned a lot. I hope you guys did as well. So I wanted to, well, we are going to go into now some more programs that Healthy Teen Coalition has to offer. And my brother and Cheyenne, I'm so sorry. It happens. OK, Cheyenne and my brother are going to talk to you a little more about it. So here they are. So did you know that Healthy Teens Coalition has a new and exciting teen health educator program? Why is that important? Could you believe the application process we went through to become a healthy teen? Well, first we had to complete a detailed application that asked us about our grades, activities, and why we wanted to be health educators and we had to have a letter of reference. And after one tough interview, I almost fell out of my chair when I figured out that we had to create a little skit in only five minutes. And we had to also in, like, introduce this to all the panel of judges. It was nerve wracking. Then we had to commit to a six week, well, six weeks of classes. And then after that, we finally had our graduation ceremony with parents and teachers, and it was a delicious meal that we had. Now we go out to the community teaching our fellow students and parents about important information uh, that, uh, that has to do with uh, teen health issues, including teen pregnancy prevention, STD prevention, date rape, dating violence, and lots of other teen issues. At first, we were very nervous about going into the community. We go into the homeless shelters or the runaway shelters, and we, prevent di we present different topics, whether teen pregnancy prevention, peer, peer pressure, contraception, different, different things like that. Our seven-week series is almost over, and every week we have a team of the health educators go and present on di many different topics. This summer, among many other places, we're going out to the Girls and Boys Club and also the Anna Guile Center and migrant camps. Not only will our work continue in the community as teen health educators, but in addition, we want to grow our ranks. So during the next school year, we will also be training the next class of teen health educators. Finally, we want to also give a special shout out to Dr. Marilyn Steele for the Steele Family Grant, which helped us start this program. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Dr. Steele. Steele. Did you know that we also provided we also provided teen and parent education on teen pregnancy and STD prevention in migrant farm work? and in both English and Spanish. Here's Sophia to tell you more about it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, our Hispanic teens have the highest rate of teen pregnancy in Manatee County. However, Teen Coalitions is working to reduce that rate. And we j a couple weeks ago, we just finished our first teen health educator series at a large Mayaka migrant youth farm worker camp. Uh, a group of us bilingual teen health educators, including myself, supervised by Ms. Luz Conquera, were, um, were talking with the, both teens and their parents about 
hablando con la familia juntos, um, hablando de los, de no, uh, hablando de la comunicación y para prevenir el embarazo de los jóvenes y los STDs. Um, what I just said in Spanish was families talking to each other, um, a curriculum with the goals of creating teens that aren't getting pregnant during their teen years and STDs at a young age. Um, and did you know Healthy Teen Coalition has a teen parent intern? And she's really awesome. Her name is Paige Sager who is going to tell you a little about the Teen Parent Internship Program and Healthy Teens Coalition Therapeutic Mentoring Groups. Paige Sagar. Hi, thank you everybody for coming today. Um, as many of you may already know, I am a teen parent. Um, the struggles that I faced being a teen parent and the struggles that I've seen many other girls face inspired me to become a social worker, um, helping prevent teen pregnancy and intervene in teen pregnancy. Um, last year, the same time last year, I was awarded the HTC Teen Parent Internship. Um, this internship has been such a wonderful award for me because through it I've been able to work with many excellent social workers um, all of HTC, and to name a few who have really helped me, would be Ms. Tomio, Mrs. Legler, and Ms. Um, Costigan. Um, and in this internship, I've given, been given the opportunity to write PSAs, show PSAs, um, talk to youth, and mentor a group called TAP Taking Charge Group at, um, at TAP Harley Full Service Center um, with a licensed clinical social worker. Um, this leads me to talk about um, the Go Girls group, which Go Girls groups, which are therapeutic mentoring groups. The one that I co-facilitate is the Taking Charge group. This group is used to um, help teen parents um, set goals in the realms of parenting, relationships, education, and career. Um, and I believe that it's really making a great impact. Um, I'd like to introduce one of our group members named Thalia and see if she would like to say a couple words about how the group has helped her. Hi, my name is Thalia. I go to, to Harley Full Center for the TAP program. The Take Charge program has helped me set goals for myself it really, and having Paige shows that it's not impossible to be a teen parent and go to college and finish college. I'm only a junior right now, but I do have plans to go to college. Though I work and I go to school and I take care of a baby, it's not impossible. Being a teen parent yeah, has shown me to grown up at only the age of 16 and now I'm 17. Though I'm 17, I still have scholarships from when I was in middle school. The scholarships also helped me to go into college. I know it's not impossible. I know it's going to be a struggle with the child, having the child wake up at 3 in the morning crying for who knows what. But it's really not that hard. Some people say it's difficult to be a teen parent. It's really not that difficult. Being a teen parent just helps you improve with responsibility and anything else that comes with it. And, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thalia. Um, another therapeutic mentoring group that HTC has had the opportunity to um, do is Go Girls. And this is also at several other schools, which is for highly at-risk youth. Um, some of the schools that Miss Tania, who is our licensed clinical social worker who does these groups, serves it is um, Harley Middle School, Lincoln Middle School, Horizons Academy, the YMCA Technical High School and the Boys and Girls Clubs. Um, highly qualified masters prepared therapeutic specialists such as herself do this. And now I would like to introduce Markel Simmons who is going to tell you about Go Guys and some of the great programs for higher risk boys. Thank you so much.
Okay. Hey, everybody. So she talked to you about the Go Girls program, and there's basically a Go Guys program. It's basically a therapeutic mentoring program, but for guys instead of girls. A lot of people say that, or not a lot of people um, really think about that. You know, it takes two to make a baby, and that the guys are as much part of it as the girl is too. But it does, it takes two people to spread an STD or to create a baby. Okay, so this is uh, basically a program for high risk teens or teens who wanna get into it. Um, it decreases risky behaviors, uh, well, yeah. It, it helps them decrease risky behaviors and it's from ages nine to, or 11 to 19 the guys who are in this program. Okay, so of course it's uh, the positive things that come from it are attendance, there's better attendance, grades, less discipline as a result, and increased positive goal settings uh, have all been seen as results from this program. Okay, so now I wanna bring up Ashley to the podium to talk about school-based programs for Healthy Teens Coalition and that they provide. Thank you. Did you know that Healthy Teens Coalition is a partner is a partner in the It's Your Choice program? It provides health education classes that specifically focus on teen pregnancy prevention, STD and HIV prevention to over 3,000 students per school year. They're expert speakers on girls and self-esteem called Girl Talk. The counterpart for boys is called Guy Code. Both of these classes are presented in a fun, interactive way. Did you know the Healthy Teens Coalition has a special group of speakers who are persons living with HIV who come to the schools to share what their personal stories of what it is like to be HIV positive and work to educate the risks and dispel the myths surrounding HIV and AIDS. And did you know the Healthy Teens Coalition supplies a nurse or health educator to staff the Prevention on Wheels bus? It is a really cool bus equipped with a laptop, computers that are connected to the internet. Students are led through guided web quests so that they can learn about great educational sites to visit for accurate teen health information. Now, allow me to bring up Ella Biggins, the very capable chair of the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Committee for Manatee County Youth Commission, who is going to tell you how Healthy Teens Coalition works in our community to advocate and increase awareness on the issue of teen pregnancy. Did you know that Healthy Teens Coalition is in its fourth year of presenting proclamations on the issue of teen pregnancy prevention to our local government officials during May, which is when we celebrate Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month? For the past two years, I and other members of the Manatee County Youth Commission have had the honor of presenting these proclamations to the Manatee Board of County Commissioners, the School Board of Manatee County, and the cities of Palmetto and Bradenton. Did you also know that Healthy Teens Coalition also sponsored one of the only debates to focus specifically on secondary school students and the issues they face between candidates for school board during the last election? At this event, the second, in this event, the second annual Teen Pregnancy Prevention Awards is another great way to keep awareness of the issue in our community. Now Sophia will come on stage. And now we have some very important people and organizations to honor to thank for all their hard work. On with the pre presentation of awards. Dr. Marilyn Steele, would you please come on stage? I have the honor of presenting 
the very first award to an incredible woman who we are so fortunate to have living and making That's a difference <laughs> here, <laughs> here in our community. She is a true pioneer in the field of teen pregnancy prevention, and I read this very brief biography of hers. I think you'll understand what I mean. Dr. Marilyn Steele is a graduate of Albion College, received her Master's of Arts from the University of Michigan, and her PhD from Michigan State University. She was married to the late Tom Clover Steele for 65 years. There is a commitment, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are the parents of a son in Michigan and a daughter in Philadelphia and a granddaughter at Michigan State University. Steele taught in an inner city high school for 16 years followed by 20 years as a program officer for the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation of Flint, Michigan. The organization which pioneered with the Ford Foundation on all the issues associated with the ch teen childbearing. Steele wrote the very first journaled article on the public costs of teenage pregnancy. She also conducted the lead research for the Title IV legislation on voc vocation education where teen pregnancy was a primary reason for young women to drop out of high school. Steele has been a resident of Manatee County since 1990, an active voluntary leader in many local educational and cultural organizations in Manatee County. The Steele Family's Endowment Fund of a Religious Philanthropy is the primary source of funds for starting the Teen Health Educators Program. On behalf of the Healthy Teens Coalition of Manatee County, we would like to thank you and honor you for your incredible career dedicated to the issue of teen pregnancy prevention. Now I'm saying in Spanish. Um, al lado de los, de los niños en Healthy Teens Coalition of Manatee County, te daríamos gra muchas gracias y honorarte por todo tu, incre tu carrera increíble que has tenido y por todos los... Um, to tu carrera de, dedicada a los a las cosas que pasan con los jóvenes. De, Muchas gracias. <laughs> de nada. <laughs> um, Dr. Steele, would you like to say a few words? I certainly would. <laughs> they will be very few, but I do want to tell you that it's wonderful to be an octogenarian and to have experienced the satisfaction of watching the social issue I worked on for many years finally find some success and reduction. And while you've heard about high rates in Florida and in Manatee County specifically, which I am concerned about as is everyone here, nevertheless, the national rates for teenage pregnancy have reduced in the United States to where they were in the 1940s, which is an acceptable rate, but it has taken us 40 years to get there. So it's my satisfaction to have had that experience, and I am absolutely delighted to tell you that there has been a reduction in the last year in Manatee County when we had the facts of almost 24%, which is substantial. And I do want to say, shame upon the principal who refused to have a healthy teens program in school because she had no problem in that school. But we still have very high rates of teen pregnancy, as you've heard, as well as very high rates of sexually transmitted diseases. And one of the, it reminds me of a past superintendent who would not allow the word sex to be used in the description of the program. Uh, and at the same time that he didn't want to call sex sex, he had very high rates of sexually transmitted diseases in the schools that he was serving. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you for this honor.
Would Ella Biggins please join me on stage? It is my honor and pleasure to present the Healthy Teens Coalition Youth of the Year Award. The young lady who is the recipient of this award would, has been a tireless advocate for teen pregnancy prevention for the past two years. Teen, pregnancy, teen Healthy Teens Coalition feels so fortunate that she, ha, she chose teen pregnancy prevention as her committee of choice when she joined the Healthy Teens Youth Co Commission. Since the time, Ella has served as an incredible youth advocate in a community for the issue of teen pregnancy prevention. She has presented proclamations on the issues of teen pregnancy prevention for the past two years to our local governments. She has remained as chair of the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Commission despite taking on the entire leadership for the Manatee County Youth Commission and has railed her fellow Manatee County Youth Commission members to action on this issue of teen pregnancy prevention. As I mentioned earlier, it was Ella's idea to write and film the PSA for Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month. She is only a junior in high school this year at Braden River High. So all of us associated with Healthy Teens Coalition are keeping our fingers crossed that she will continue her work on teen pregnancy prevention at least one more year. Ella, on behalf of Healthy Teens Coalition of Manatee County, I am pleased to present you with the award for Youth of the Year. It has been such fun and a great opportunity, opportunity for me to work with you. First, I just want to say that I would have never thought that when I first started learning about teen pregnancy prevention that I would have become so um, invested in the issue. I feel so honored to receive this award from such an amazing organization. It is a pleasure to be a part of the Healthy Teens Coalition. I have learned so much over these past two years thanks to the coalition and my amazing mentors, Dr. Jessica Spencer and Marianne Legler. You guys have taught me so much and have helped me to be stri strive to become a great leader like yourselves. Also, I would never be up here today without the other members of the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Committee and the Manatee County Youth Commission, who always inspire me to work harder. Thank you so much. And I would like to present to you Paige, who is going to present the year, the nonprofit of the year to the Service Club of Mantee County Co Committee. Well, Miss Susan Mitchell is already coming up to the stage. Um, <laughs> would any, no, come on. Would any other um, members of the service club like to join? <laughs> Thank you, Paige. <laughs> um, um, I'd like to start by saying that I could not be more honored and pleased to present this award of Nonprofit of the Year to the Service Club of Manatee County. Um, these, this group of less than 40 women work tirelessly to help um, non-for-profit organizations that serve youth and children in Manatee County. Um, they've, hopefully you guys are all aware of the, um, not the uh, annual charitable antiques and collectibles show. With this one event, this group of under 40 women raise over $95,000 annually, all of which they give to, to Manatee County charities that serve children. For the past several years, they have given invaluable grant funds to Manatee County non-for-profits that provide teen pregnancy prevention programs, as well as agencies that support teen parents, including Just for Girls, Pace Center for Girls, Solve Maternity Homes, and our very own Healthy Teens Coalition. Because of the, of the service club's generosity, we were able to start Go Girls Therapeutic Mentoring Groups and provide in-school programs to girls and, and self-esteem to well over a thousand girls in the past few years, including the group that I am fortunate to co-facilitate for pregnant and parenting teens at the TAP program. 
Mrs. Mitchell and distinguished members of the service club who are in attendance today, you are changing lives, including my own. Through your generous support on behalf of Healthy Teens Coalition and our community, please accept our gratitude for all that you do. Thank you, Paige. Thank you so much. On behalf of Service Club of Manatee County, we are honored to receive this award as we are so happy to support Healthy Teens Coalition in their endeavor to prevent teen pregnancy in Manatee County. Your comprehensive education, counseling, and mentoring high-risk teens is to be commended. I would also like to thank our entire community for consistently supporting Service Club of Manatee County through our sole fundraiser, our Antiques, Vintage, and Collectible show, which will be held this coming February 27th, 28th, and March 1st. We will celebrate our 50th show this year. It is through this fundraiser that we generate funding to support organizations such as Healthy Teens Coalition and many others that provide food, shelter, clothing, health, and educational services for underprivileged children in Manatee County. Our club has held true to this mission since our inception in 1927. Thank you again for honoring Service Club as Nonprofit of the Year. Thank you, Paige. Thank you. She's the audience. I think, Janet, you got it, Janet. Hello. Um, would Miss Brenda Rogers please join me here on the stage? This year, Healthy Teens Coalition decided that it was an entire group rather than just one individual elected official who deserved that, the award that I'm about to present. I feel certain that when all of you hear what I'm about to say, you will both understand and completely agree with that decision. Unfortunately, for a number of years, we have had a significant problem with teen pregnancy in Manatee County. In the past years, Manatee County has ranked somewhere in the top 10 counties in the state in births to teen mothers. Although there were task forces formed over the years to study and make recommendations on this problem, the adults continue to argue about the method while teens continue to become teen parents. In 2010, Manatee County government and board of county commissioners made the landmark decision to make to take a strong and courageous leadership role on this issue when the Te Children's Services Advisory Board and the Board of, Man of County Commissioners decided to take teen pregnancy prevention a major funding priority for the, for the county grant funding through the Children's Services tax millage and encouraged community nonprofits to partner together to work on this issue. Since that time, our Manatee County rates of teen pregnancy have shown a dramatic improvement. In fact, when comparing to the number of births to teens from before this strong community focus began until now, teen births in Manatee County have dropped by over 38%, and births to younger teen mothers, ages 14 and under, have dropped by a dramatic 74%. From 2012 to 2013, the number of teen births dropped by 23.8% alone. It truly does take a village. The county commission has recognized the importance and strongly supported this effort to make our community healthier for youth. It is truly my honor to present the award for elected officials of the year to the Manatee County Board of County Commissioners for their visionary leadership in reducing the teen pregnancy rate in Manatee County. It is, it is my pleasure to be here today representing the Board of County Commissioners and Commissioner Larry Bussell. I, when I left, they were deeply engaged in a passionate discussion on some planning and zoning issue, and I'm sure they would all rather be here. But, um, but it, is, it is my pleasure, my honor to be here accepting on their behalf. We are really proud of the accomplishments of the, the teen educators that we're presenting today because we all feel a little bit of ownership in, in your 
accomplishments and we will continue to support youth issues. That's one of the priorities of the Board of County Commissioners is to, to make Manatee County one of the best places in the world to raise a family and to, to encourage the engagement of citizens in, as, you, as you grow and develop. You're, you're way beyond the majority of, of us out there, at, especially at, at your young age. But stay, stay engaged, stay involved, and uh, we will all make a difference in Manatee County. Thank you very much. We still have some other people that we would like to recognize for their wonderful gift of time, expertise, and energy in keeping Manatee County youth healthy and reducing teen pregnancy rate. As we call your name, would you please come to the front and accept a certificate as a token of Healthy Teens Coalition appreciation for all you do? Okay. The first one is Miss Luz <laughs> Cortira. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. For being a trainer and an advisor, and also she was a program designer to our first teen health educator program as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> Well, I just want to say that it was a true pleasure to work with all these wonderful young people. I think we were more energized and we learned a lot from them. You are going to change this community. You're already changing the community. So thank you. Um, it was not really um, any effort. I think Kathy, uh, Marianne, and, and John had a blast being with all of you. So you have to continue the work and train some others. Thank you. We'd like to introduce Miss Kathy Wilson for her outstanding service as a trainer, advisor, and program designer for our first teen health educator program. Um, I was really honored. It was more of an honor for us to be part of this. Uh, I, I was honored to uh, represent Manatee Glens, and um, we have a huge commitment to obviously children, adults in this county, and so we were very happy. Uh, to, it was a natural partnership for us, and we did have a lot of fun with these kids. I mean, will continue to have a lot of fun this Thursday. and. Um, I, I look forward to next year, and I look forward to being with the ladies I was I was with. The way we just had a great time, and and uh, you do learn a lot from um, the youth, and we always need to be ready to accept what we learn and um, use that um, as we go forward to help make change. Um, and it made me feel young again, which is nice, because my kids don't think I'm all that cool. So it's very it's very nice. Thank you. Okay, and the last one is Miss, not the last one. Okay, well, another one is <laughs> Miss Sherry Cooper. Uh, now, she's not here right now, so nobody look around. She's not going to get up. Okay, but she's teaching a pregnancy prevention class at Bradenton River Middle School right now, so she's not here. But uh, she is an advisor of the Teen Health Educator Program, and we wanted to congratulate her anyways for her hard work. Our other two trainers and advisors and program designers were Miss Joan Tomeo and Miss Mary Ann Legler, who are also board members of Healthy Teen Coalition. I'd like to thank all of you for being here. Um, I am a social worker in Manatee County Schools and I work with uh, teen parents. And my job is support and intervention after a girl does become pregnant. 
and it has been an exciting few years with the prevention piece and the community involvement to not only prevent second pregnancies, but to reduce the teen pregnancy rate in Manatee County. We have a team. I'm excited about that. I'm not alone in this. <laughs> so um, I appreciate everything that everyone is doing to support this. And I'd like to see um, Healthy Teens Coalition grow. So thank you again. There's plenty of time for me to say something. We're going to bring Paige to the stage now. Um, we also want to present a certificate to Mrs. Krista Bloomberg. We are very appreciative to Ms. Krista Bloomberg for serving as our webmaster and particularly for her incredible re redesign of our Healthy Teens Coalition website. I hope all of you have had the opportunity to view this website, which if you have not, you can view it at www.healthyteensmanatee.com. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to work with everyone and enjoy the new website. And we also would like to show a huge offer of appreciation to Mr. Charles Clapsaddle of MeTV for videotaping our HTC Awards program again this year and also offering his talented and wonderful work as he did filming and producing and airing our HTC PSAs. Um, on behalf of METV, we just want to thank Mary Ann, Joan Tomio, and this community for supporting us as we produce a series of programs on teen pregnancy prevention. It's been our great pleasure to do so, working with Luz Coquera, and we'll continue to do that and offer our expertise and talent to help uh, these uh, young people get that message. And a special note of recognition to Paige here, whose who's poise and talent and putting all this together is to be applauded. So on behalf of METV, thank you very much. We have a group of teen health educators that have, um, as we've mentioned, worked tirelessly to uh, go out in the community. And um, of course, I'm not prepared. Just, you know, I've been so busy trying to prepare everything else that I left your, your gift envelopes in my purse. So see me afterwards, but one at a time, <laughs> if you would just stand up once again and, and let us recognize you. So. Would all of you just please stand and let us give you a round of applause for, for what you do. So find me afterwards, okay? I'm the woman with the, the envelopes. Um, Paige, thank you once again for all of your wonderful work on what you're doing. Ella everybody else. We also have our board members here and I just want to recognize them too because they work tirelessly behind the scenes. Um, and that's Joan Tomio is the vice chair of Healthy Teens Coalition. She's waving, you've met her already. <laughs> Lisa Ramirez, where is Lisa? She's been taking pictures. She's our secretary and our board member. And Gary Hickerson over there is our illustrious treasure. 
And finally, Sherry Brown, who is our coordinator. Uh, she did the beautiful arrangements that you see here on the table to, today and really helped put all this event together. We also are fortunate to have some of our uh, Healthy Teens Coalition group leaders and people that speak in the schools with us today. Debbie Sergi Laws is right over here. Would you wave? <laughs> Debbie speaks in our schools. Tania Rumpf is next to her. He's a group leader. Uh, and Donna Youngman couldn't be here today. Donna Youngman is an RN that staffs our Prevention on Wheels bus. So, most of all, thank all of you so much for attending. We, we really appreciate you taking time out of all of your busy schedules to be here. Uh, we invite you to spend gosh, the next 20 minutes or so enjoying food and beverages and mingling, uh, talking. You can view more of our new website that Krista so beautifully designed right over there. You'll see uh, a website station. There is also a donation station if anyone is, in, is so inclined um, and feels the need to give something to healthy teens. But once again, we thank you for your time and um, for your support on behalf of all the youth of Manatee County. Thank you very much. Well, uh, it means uh, the satisfaction of uh, a lifelong career because I have been involved in the prevention of teenage pregnancy since I first started teaching school when the only reason that a young woman dropped out of school was because she was pregnant. So it's been a social issue of my lifetime and it's with great satisfaction that I see finally the efforts in Manatee County come together and I hope we can continue it. Mr. Clapsaddle, I cannot tell you how much growth I have seen in these young people as a result of their involvement in this program. They are the right group. They are doing a beautiful job. They have grown in the process. My guess is they will make an enormous contribution. I am delighted to see the young Spanish-speaking women who can go back to the migrant community and they are taking the time to educate both parents and other teenagers on the issue of reducing teenage pregnancy, which is so prevalent in the migrant community particularly. Well, we know that the issue is um, public school education and available contraception are the two issues that have made an enormous difference. Uh, I am pleased that we have some very dramatic uh, evidence of the success of that kind of programming because while we recognize that abstinence is the best contraceptive issue, uh, if you have no sex, you're not going to have pregnancies. But those states, there were six states that voted to use abstinence-only education at the state level in their public school programs. I am sorry to say, or I am pleased to say, those six states have seen an increase in teenage pregnancy, whereas the other states that used a comprehensive approach have seen a reduction. So that's a rather dramatic evidence that abstinence only does not work. It works for the abstinent, but it certainly is not the right method for everybody. That it is extremely costly. It is, teen pregnancy is the primary reason for continuous family poverty, generation after generation after generation. It means no education. It means lesser opportunity for a job. It means larger family members to feed. So uh, that is a very important issue in our society to help people out of poverty. This uh, fits right into our mission statement um, of Service Club of Manatee County, which is supporting um, the youth and uh, children in our county that are underprivileged 
and um, this is part of the educational piece in our mission statement. So we are thrilled to support uh, the Healthy Teens Coalition. Yes, that's exactly right. Our group of um, 30 to 40 women work hard all year long for this sole fundraiser um, to generate the funding that we need um, to support these agencies. This past year we awarded 21 uh, charities or agencies uh, with $95,000 that goes directly into our community. So, yes, it really is um, to see the um, the, um, the heartfelt um, commitment from these young people and how they've come together under um, some wonderful leadership in our community. And once again, we see how our community uh, comes together and supports um, you know the, the local the local children and and their needs yes we are service club is is the oldest women's service organization in manatee county uh, we have been um, working in our community since 1927 which was our inception we started out um, very quietly um, giving uh, school lunches to the children in need uh, some local women recognized that and through the years, uh, we have grown and developed into um, all areas of need um, for our underprivileged children. And this is our upcoming 50th anniversary of our antique show. And this year, we will feature our history of our club um, in the entrance hall at the Bradenton Area Convention Center. So we're very, very proud and happy and, um, to mark this year as a big event. When I first got involved in Manatee County Youth Commission and the Healthy Teens Coalition, I saw how, what a big impact the issue made in our community economically and socially, so it really empowered me to want to make a difference. I think it's important because every student deserves the opportunity to finish their education and be able to have the opportunity to be empowered through their education, and having a child so young can be a detriment to that. Well, um, the Healthy Teens Coalition, the program associated with it, it's your choice, I think is perfect just to get that message across that it is their choice whether or not to engage in sexual activity. I think that creating awareness on the issue, they see that it is not something that happens somewhere else. It really can happen to them, so it makes them take a step back and realize like, what step they want to take in their life. It makes everything better because I know it empowers me as their leader to keep on striving to make the difference because everyone else wants to make the difference too. Well, with the Manistee County Youth Commission, we just want to keep on working with local government to bring a youth's voice to Manistee County's local government. Um, that makes me feel really excellent that the community is really getting involved in the issue of teen pregnancy prevention. Um, it's my heart to prevent teen pregnancies and intervene on teen with teen parents in the community. And to see people really investing their time and effort in helping this issue it just means so much to me. Um, well, m the message that I want to get across as the HEC teen parent intern and as a teen parent myself is that um, one, you should prevent teen pregnancy at all costs um, because it is very, very hard to be a teen parent. Um, but more importantly to me, because I know the struggles of being a teen parent and the issue is reducing thanks to HTC, but it is never going to fully go away. My my heart in this is to intervene with teen parents and show them as, as a mentor that even if you do have children at a young age that you can succeed, you can graduate high school, you can graduate college, and you can, you can be whatever you want to be, just like me, I'm pursuing my um, master's in social work right now. So. Um, I believe that all of these organizations should realize and work towards is that they should figure out what their organizations and businesses can do to help the issue of teen pregnancy in Manatee County. Um, there's various businesses that may be able to offer a donation or some kind of service that can help um, put in place groups and um, teaching and different things that um, Healthy Teens and Your Choice can do to help preventing pregnancy. Um, and then community members, um, if they have any type of legislative power, they can help pass um, legislature that can implement programs to help teen pr pregnancy and teen parents. Um, and then just, you know, the school board keeping a focus on that issue because it is a huge issue. And even though we are reducing it so much, 
is still something that needs to be focused on. So everybody here today needs to to come together to with their organizations and do whatever they can to follow your dreams, to follow your goals, um, and that can mean from just you know preventing teen pregnancy in yourself because becoming a teen parent makes it a lot more difficult to pursue your goals and your dreams for one but even if you are a teen parent there's still nothing stopping you you can achieve your goals you can work towards your dreams and the manatee county is has so many programs that are here to help It's very important for me personally and for Healthy Star Manatee to support the efforts of the um, Healthy Teens Coalition because we have to work together to empower women to make the best choices in their lives. And when young women start so early having babies when they need parents themselves, it's very difficult to really build a community and to build a future. So the Healthy Star Manatee has been very supportive of creating this very innovative community health worker program with the teens so that the teens can be uh, learning how to communicate with their parents and talk about sex education. And so uh, we are going to support all their efforts and hopefully the community will continue to embrace because we are seeing the positive results. We want to continue going to where people need us to be. We are going to continue going to the migrant camps. We are going to continue forming um, the next uh, generation of leaders who are fully bilingual. Hopefully we'll have some of the Haitian leaders joining us because our community has changed over the last 10 years. The makeup of the community is very diverse. We have a huge Hispanic Latino population, Haitian influx, East European and uh, Asian population. So we really need to reflect the diversity of the community, train the people that are uh, trusted by those community members and also give them the tools so that they can be successful at educating them, giving them the choices to build healthier and happier lives. We can't leave the task of pregnancy prevention just to the teens alone or to the parents. This is a concerted effort and we have to have organizations from the health, the education, social services, human services, the small business, the financial world. Everybody has to come together because we care for our children, we care for our teens and it is a community effort. We can't do it ourselves alone. We have to do it as a community and that's why it's important that everyone comes together for one cause and we are seeing the results, we are reversing the trends so we just have to keep up the good work.